Dragon Slayer. I am delighted to see that you have survived your foray into our beautiful countryside. I took down some ice brood. I'm afraid I come bearing bad news, though. Oh, fool. Quagan knew it. You found the missing herdmates, didn't you? Oh, boo! Boo! Unfortunately, yes. There were no survivors. That is quite distressing. Thank you for returning to let us know. We have news on your lost friend as well. <laughs> it's bad news, too. The Svanir are looking for him. They tortured this farmer to find out where he went. The Svanir who hurt you, what did they say? Oh, the sorcerer was mean. He wanted to know if Quaggan had seen a tall Norn, bald like Quaggan. He made Quaggan tell him where the Norn went. Quaggan didn't want to, but even more, Quaggan didn't want to die. It's okay. Did he say why he was looking for Bram? Yes, many times. He was angry, because he thinks the Norn wore a disguise and tricked the Svanir out of an elixir recipe. A disguise? And trick them? Oh no. I'll have to send Timmy's sample by courier. I need to find Bran. He was headed to a cave in the southwest. You might be able to follow the Svanir track. Footprints. The sons of Svanir must not be interested in covering their tracks. That's them. Commander, take your pick. There's plenty to go around. This isn't over yet. Are you two okay? Fine. Wonder what that was all about. Did you steal something from them? They kept calling you a thief. I'm afraid this is my fault. I had to pose as a Svanir to get their Thaw elixir recipe. They must have thought it was you for some reason. You had to what? Well, it's over now. Rox and I need to keep moving. Okay. Let's go. Sure. Yeah, sure. It's good to see you. How's the hunt for the scroll going? Almost at its end. Or maybe a frustrating beginning. If it's not in this cave system, all my info was wrong and I'm back at square one. Did Timmy get my letter? I assume that's why you're here. She did. It was quite a surprise after she learned that... How much do you know about what's happening? With Jormag? Plenty. No, that's not the... Primordus is active, too. I heard. These dragons won't rest until we're dust. Well, Timmy has a plan. I do, too. I find a way to kill all the dragons, or die trying. That's a little extreme. Talk to me after they've taken your mother. <laughs> Something up ahead, boy? Sounds like other... Wolves! That was a pretty unfriendly welcome for a fellow wolf, honk arm. So, the dragons aren't the only threats. A Mersat, Lazarus, is back, and seems to have changed, but... And the human minister, Codicus, escaped custody, and came out as the leader of the White Mantle. He's currently M.I.A. Kanak says it looks like he's making his way up to the Isles of Janthir. Uh, it's getting pretty dark. Time for some torches, and a way out of this cavern.
Why is the ground sticky? The air is so still here. We must be the first people to pass through in a generation. You'll have to forgive him, Commander. We've had a pretty tough... Hold up. These eggs. Everywhere. Nobody touch... <sighs> Never mind. Frostbite is already covered in spider webs. We tripped their alarm. That's the last of them. Looks like we might be able to get through there if we can clear that web. That did it. Let's pick up the pace before more spiders show up. Bran, the reason I found you... I don't know if you heard, but we started a new guild. It'd be great to have you. Didn't feel like joining Destiny's Edge and continuing their legacy, huh? Ritlock said... I felt like that might be... might come across as disrespectful. Disrespectful? To keep the memory of my mother and Snaff going? You and I must have different notions of respect. Bram, I'm sorry. This isn't the reaction I expected. It's okay, Commander. Maybe it's for me to keep alive. Another thing thrown on my pile of obligations now that I'm back home. Bram? This scroll isn't going to find itself. Let's go. Watch it! Ambush! This was the first line of defense. I'd heard these things were guarding the scroll. I knew this was right. Might be in the next chamber then. If we could get through the ice wall, maybe Frostbite can fit through the crevice. <laughs> or there's the Bramway. Let's go. It's here! I'll take that, thanks! Bram, Ugh. move! Rocks! Bram, she's frozen solid. Stay out of that thing's way! Strength of the pack. The scroll. It was true. Thank Wolf, it was true. Not enough energy. For the might of the fire lives in my heart and in this bow. No chill will extinguish its light. Was that it? Did it work? Only one way to find out. We heal as one. What happened? You were frozen. I was frozen? So weird. It was like a dream and I was on a beach. You'd think it'd be the opposite. Well, we're glad you're back. Did we get the scroll? Sure did, Rox. Thanks. And now? This is similar to the scroll Aesgear used in his great victory. So now I test the bow on the tooth in the Great Hall. If I damage it, it's time to rally the Norn and lay Jormag to rest. Bram, you can't... Let's hold up a second here. A direct assault on Jormag puts a lot of lives on the line. I think the Pact can tell you that may not be the best idea. The Pact you commanded. Look, Jormag is my problem. 
and I'll deal with it my way, with or without you. Jormag isn't just your... Look what happened to Rox when you rushed in and bashed something. Oh, I forgot your calculated plans always work out perfectly, like when you posed as a Spawnier to get some potion. Okay, okay, can we back up? Timing things, there may be a way to pit Primordus and Jormag against each other without raising a single sword. Timey thinks, huh? If the tooth chips, we have hard proof. Hard proof of what? That you can battle a tooth? So only you get to decide when we take down a dragon? Only you are allowed to kill them? That's not what I'm saying. Well, figure out what you're saying, because that's what it sounds like. I'm only asking you to wait. Maybe just a few days. See if Timey can do this. There could be no need to put lives at risk. With every moment we wait, someone else's mother dies. I won't give Jormag a few days. I won't give Jormag a few minutes. The Norn elders told me the legend of the tooth. But I've also been out in the world and faced two of these things. One with you. They're not to be taken lightly. You think I take it? You know what, Commander? I'm glad you didn't join Destiny's Edge. My mother wouldn't want you in there. I'm headed back to Holbrek. Garm, to me. So... Go ahead. He certainly doesn't want to be around me right now. Do you think he'll do it? I hope cooler heads prevail. He has to see this isn't the way to go.